After all everything, we finally get a decision on who Cody is going with. And it spies out of control. It is at the press conference. My name is Toasty and here, if you're here new to the channel, you know what to do. And I do movie reviews and also wrestling with gameplay in the background. If you like what if you like what you see, you know what to do. We're gonna go straight into this. Um, it I I think it was cut short to be honest, but my God, my God, the way he went around it, it this is a work now, but I want to clarify, and to you all thinking if it's been a work all along. No, it hasn't. It was going to be Rock and Roman Reigns. And by when you saw Raw, like so when Cody came out, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if it was going to be Cody and Seth, Drew McIntyre wouldn't have come out. Drew McIntyre wouldn't have come out. Cody would have just said yes, and that was it. You could see it all planning out. But with Drew coming out and making a wonderful, awesome heel promo and stuff, you got to think this through. You got to think this through. So he goes in. I, I, I'm just going to go straight to the main cause of this press conference. And... <sighs> Boy, they really made Seth Rollins like a fucking idiot at times. And I think he's getting pissed off about it, which I don't blame him. Yeah, that title, what he's holding, it, it's third value, I, I say. But Seth has made a procedure, like the matches have been watchable with it. Where's Roman Reigns' championship matches? Huh? He's been defending it on Raw. This is what I'm saying. So, Seth comes out. It was a big pop for him. So, you know, and I like Seth Rollins. I, I do like Seth Rollins. You know, because I think he speaks his mind. Clearly he does. So... He wants to get Cody Rhodes out. And Roman Reigns' music plays. Roman Reigns' music plays. And slowly, surely comes out. Um, I thought we were going to really have a face-off against Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. At that one point in my back of my mind, I'm saying, is Seth going to step up to the plate and say, hold on. I'll take your championship. At one point, I thought of that. Even though we knew Rock and everything was confirmed. Do you know what I mean? This is how intense the press conference was. So, Roman says, not kidding, he's going to make the decision. And he chooses The Rock. Rock comes out. This whole mixed motions in the crowd. Holy shit. I've never seen such mixed reactions. Then the rock <laughs> looks like a stiff asteroid bitch. He does. He's walking out so slow like a robot. AI robot. Looks like it to me. <laughs> so. <laughs> he comes out. Blabbers on. Finally this and all this. And. He says Roman Reigns. And The Rock. Is going to be the biggest main event. Of all time. What was the match? 
what said kind of that title? Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. Remember that one with the two titles? Remember that? And how that match ended? That match ended fucking early. For reasons. So. <laughs> he's, he's, he's trying to get the crowd on his side. No question about it. Then this whole we want Cody starts. But it's really, really loud. Like, fucking really loud. <laughs> then the Rock says the Cody Crybabies. He does. He calls them the Cody Crybabies. And you can hear the boos. So it's kind of like a heel turn for the Rock. It is. But... <sighs> This gets really spun out of control because I sat here, guys, and I want to tell you now, The Rock did something that made me say, boy, if I wanted that, I'll go on, I'll go on the Google or some shit. He put the family tree up. This huge family tree with all the names and the ancestors and shit like that on this giant, the giant fucking screen. Who gives a shit? We already know about all the history. And he's pointing up here about this bloodline situation. You can tell the crowd's not liking it. You can tell I thought we were going to have some fucking suicide attempts. You can tell by the crowd they didn't give a shit. So what the hell was this about? All of a sudden, no music, no music or anything, Cody comes out and he says, hold on. This is bullshit. And he, he says rock. We've discussed, we've discussed and stuff. And then he lays it on Roman. It is. Roman takes a shot at Cody's father. Dusty. Not kidding. The crowd go like that. Cody says, well, since you took a shot of mine, I'll take a shot of yours. And he pauses. And he says, the ancestors and his, and he points at the rocks, will be ashamed of you. The Rock stood in front of fucking Roman. The guy who was actually facing Roman. Points at Cody and says, all this blah, blah, like, if you're disrespecting the family, you're disrespecting him. If you're disrespecting him, you're disrespecting me. And I'm like, these two fuckers. Is fighting each other in the main event of WrestleMania and he pampering about family shit. I know it's scripted, don't get me wrong, but this is bullshit. Cordy is right, it is bullshit. I think Cordy's gonna come out Friday and just say, I thought The Rock wanted to give him a peace of mind, not a family gathering. Something like that down the line. All of a sudden, and I shit not, I jump from my fucking seat. All of a sudden, and I'm not bullshitting you, The Rock slaps Cordy. And this slap looked real. It looked, wow. It looked really real. 
And then Triple H is trying to hold Cody back. Seth Rollins. I something with Seth Rollins tonight. I think he's had enough. I think he's had enough because his anger wasn't like scripted anger. He looked really pissed. He looked really pissed tonight. And The Rock shoved Seth. And Seth just fucking blew out the park. Not kidding. He was the only one left on stage with The Rock and Roman. Legit, what's the piece of The Rock? I can see Seth doesn't like The Rock. I, I, I can see that. I'm not kidding. Henry goes all spiral control. Rock's on stage still. With Roman Reigns. Um, Cody gets taken off. Very fucking quick. So I think they're going to talk to him backstage. Or check him over. Because that fucking slap. Holy shit. If you watch the slap back and you can hear it and you can feel it. I'm not kidding. But Seth, Seth tried to say something. I don't know what it was. Then there was this whole swearing <laughs> came into play. Censoring. Stop censoring that shit. I wish they stopped censoring that shit. There was swearing from Seth Rollins to the Rock and holy shit. If that was scripted, I guess that's from Triple H, right? But I don't think it was. I think it was a shoot. Because Seth Rollins has been shooting as well, you know, on the interview saying we don't need The Rock. We like him here, but we just don't need him. Um, I'm going to tell you this now. Seth, they struggled for Seth to get off the stage. I'm not kidding. More than Cody. That's how I feel about the situation. I think Seth was actually angry than Cordy. You could tell with Cordy was kind of scripted, obviously. But he was taken off stage very fucking quick. Very, very quick. So... I'm not kidding on this. I'm not kidding on this. <laughs> it cuts off and CM Punk is talking. Yeah, he's talking with a nice good suit and shit. Big E is there. And all. he's just talking. I'm looking at the time and I'm like... This is finished way fucking early for a reason. Was that supposed to happen? We cut backstage to Triple H, getting interviewed, and he says there's so much tension, so much ego around the place, and Triple H just stand looking at The Rock and Roman, and they fucking walk side to side like they walk to Starbucks. Like, what the hell? Is Roman holding The Rock Rocky's hand? They fighting each other at WrestleMania. Come on, it was never gonna work in the first place. <laughs> so they walk, and I'm not kidding. The Rock lays it into Triple H like a shoe, a personal one. He's effing and blinding, effing and shit. Fix this. Fucking fix this. Fix this. And something else was censored what was said. And Triple H said something and he couldn't. He was not letting his eyes off the rock. I am not kidding. This shit was fire. 
And there was a lot of personal shit involved too. Like, you can see there was stuff scripted, obviously, Al. But their personal... It was something different tonight. And I think it's because all this shit heat from Dwayne and what he's done and tried to push himself for the title picture. My worry is now, if they make a triple threat, it is, is The Rock going to pin Cody? Imagine that. I'm hoping it's not that, though. But he's, he's swearing like shit at Triple H here. You fix this. Fucking fix this. Fucking fix this. Um, like, I was like, holy shit. Uh, it says, fix it, have him talk shit about my family again, um, fucking fix it, he's not going to talk about my family again. And it shows you, Roman, it, it's like a tag, 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 tag team. These two are supposed to be fighting each other. It was supposed to be the fight of the century. What are they going to do? Palm each other? I don't care about the tribal shit anymore. All the Samoan shit. All the fucking tree. I already know about the history of the tree and stuff like that. So it begs the question, if Drew McIntyre does not go for Seth Rollins, could we see The Rock faces Seth Rollins? Since things got personal backstage. Obviously it's a confirming because WWE's put out saying Cody Rhodes faces Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. That per, you know, a lot of Triple H is cooking and all this stuff. But that backstage segment, when he dropped the F-bomb and fi fucking fix it and stuff and family bullshit like that. That looked like a shoe. It looked like a personal shoe for what's been going on, you know, as well. Honestly, like, I just don't want The Rock in any main event. I mean, look at what he's done. He took the board of directors, TKO, on one condition. He gets a title shot. Right? A title shot. <laughs> then, he was trying to push... To win the title off Roman. I mean, are you fucking serious? Y'all got shitty movies of Black Adam and crap. You took a dive with the scam. With Oprah. You went and came back to SmackDown to do the people's elbow on Awesome Theory. Fucking bullshit crap. Because he knew he was going to take the shit from that scam. I call it the scam. It is. When they multi-millionaires wanted to fucking ask people for money. Yeah. So guys, what do you think of the press conference? Triple H cooked tonight, but I think there was a lot of shoots in there and with this work as well. Obviously, it wasn't a work at the start, like I said, but now you can see it. What it's turned into a work, but I think The Rock is shooting. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Stay happy. Stay wrestling.